find edges is under the stylized category. And if I apply it to this photo, what it's going to do is attempt to find points of contrast and kind of accentuate those washing out everything else that has a lot of flat or similar color and value, effectively giving us outlines around different objects. Now, this is not a perfect effect. It's not always going to give you as clean of an image as you might hope, depending on what you're applying it to, but we can do a little bit of processing on top of this to get something that works a little bit better. First of all, I'm gonna add a tint effect before the find edges, or you could do it after, just to take out all of the color data. My goal is to try and get black outlines around these buttons and the joystick and wash out everything else to be pure white. So on top of that, I'm going to add a curves effect, again, just before find edges, and I'm going to bring the brights up. As I do this, we're pulling out a lot of those details. Now, in this particular case, I can only go so far with this because it's bringing a lot more contrast into areas that I don't want. So that's actually not gonna work. I could try brightening it a little bit like this, maybe bringing those mid-tones down rather than up. And that gives me a little bit more of a clean image. I could also try adding maybe a fast box blur before the find edges and increasing that ever so slightly, maybe by one, one and a half pixels to smooth out some of those textured areas. And then after find edges, I could maybe try adding a sharpen effect and then just increase the sharpness a little bit so that I have a cleaner set of lines. And that fast box blur might need to be turned back just a little bit. But now I have a fairly clean image of all of these outlines based on this original photo. Now that I have these outlines, what can I do with it? Well, I could add a CC composite after everything. And what this is going to do is recomposite the original unaffected layer on top of everything. And since this image has no transparency and the effects below it aren't generating any transparency, it's literally just getting rid of all of the effects. But that's just because I have composite original set to in front. If I change this to any other blend mode, then it will composite it into that affected version of this photo. So I'm just going to change the blend mode to multiply. And now those black lines are being multiplied back on top of this photo. So without CC composite, there's the black lines. Turning CC composite on is exactly the same as if I were to just duplicate this layer, remove all the effects on the lower copy and set the upper one to multiply. It's exactly the same, but it's a one layer solution to that by using CC composite. Now let's say that I wanted the lines to be white because it is pretty hard to tell that there are black outlines around everything on this image because of how dark it is. Well, Find Edges has an invert checkbox. So if I invert that and then I change my composite mode from multiply to screen, then we're going to get white lines or I could even change it to add to make it pop even more. And what if I wanted to have a custom color on top of that? Well, all I would need to do is add a tint effect right after the sharpen effect and before CC composite, and then I could map the white to say this bright magenta color or whatever I want it to be to contrast with the actual image. I could even add, say, a glow effect after that tint, increase the glow radius, turn down that glow threshold, and we get something that looks a lot like neon overlays outlining all of these parts of the image. I realize I went pretty fast through all of that, but I want to make a point that it, just stacking a bunch of different effects to control how these lines are happening really allows you to create very unique looking effects. And this is all being done on one layer. What if you wanted the line thickness to be a little thicker? I'm just going to turn off CC composite for a second and I'm going to go find a, an effect called a mini max and I'm going to put that right after find edges. Let's turn off all the effects before that point, zoom in nice and close, go to Minimax and increase the radius. This is just basically going to expand out those lines to be a little bit thicker. I'll turn my sharpen back on, my tint to make it nice and magenta, the glow effect, and then the CC composite. And now everything is just a bit stronger. Maybe that glow threshold needs to be turned down a bit and the radius needs to be dialed back. But because of that Minimax effect, those lines are now more pronounced. And with this effect stack, I could transfer it to an adjustment layer. So I'll just select all of those and copy them, make an adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer and paste all of those effects. And we'll call this neon outlines. And then I could say, shut this layer off, turn off the text and bring out my logo. And now it's all being applied to that. And this is just one of the uses of find edges. There are many applications out there, but generally they have to do with putting outlines around an image. 
It might not get you all the way there on its own, but when you combine it with a handful of other effects, you can create some very interesting results. But that's all there is to find edges. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video. 